Despite sweeping changes imposed on Central Asia from Moscow under the communists, there was no great knowledge or understanding of the indigenous peoples of Central Asia. Lenin had never set foot in any of this vast region. Under both the Tsars and the communists, Russians moved into Central Asia, disrupting the traditional way of life there, as well as assuming political control. The herds of animals, on which so many nomadic Central Asians depended, found less and less area in which to graze, as Russians took over land and reorganized the economy. The American Civil War, cutting off cotton supplies to Europe, led to a great expansion and improvement of cotton cultivation in Central Asia, which remained the major producer of cotton for the Russian Empire and then for the Soviet Union on into the late twentieth century. This and other agricultural ventures in Central Asia had serious environmental side effects, however. By 1990, the shrinking of the Aral Sea, due to the demands of various crops for water, caused its surface to shrink to little more than half its previous size, and its volume of water to much less than half. If Tsarist conquest was disruptive to the traditional societies of Central Asia, communist rule was traumatic. The Civil War period following the Bolshevik Revolution took a heavy toll among both people and animals in Central Asia. In the brief period between 1917 and 1920, the number of livestock in Central Asia was cut in half. As for people, the famine of 1921-22 is estimated to have taken almost a million lives among Kazakhs alone. Collectivization under Stalin, beginning in the late 1920s, was likewise catastrophic for man and beast alike. Collectivization in Central Asia meant forcing nomadic peoples into fixed settlements, which was often fatal to herd animals that required huge grazing areas. The number of sheep and goats declined from more than 27 million in 1929 to less than 3 million by 1934. Over the same span, the number of horses fell from more than 4 million to less than a quarter of a million. Among human beings, the number of Kazakhs declined by nearly 900,000 from 1926 to 1939, some killed resisting collectivization, some succumbing to famine, and others fleeing to China or Afghanistan. Kazakhs were the hardest hit, with most of their deaths being due to starvation or to famine-related diseases, 